recognize uh, my good friend and fellow New Yorker and Long Islander, Mr. Lalota, for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Chairman D'Esposito, for your leadership and to our witnesses for being with us here today. Uh, like Chairman D'Esposito, I am a proud New Yorker, a proud Long Islander, uh, and I'm honored, I'm honored to represent the east end of Long Island. My district's about 50, 60 miles uh, to the east uh, of Manhattan, uh, the heart of New York City. Uh, and this coming uh, September 11th marks the 23rd anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks in Lower Manhattan, uh, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and here at our nation's capital. Uh, and after that day, we as a nation collectively vowed that we would never forget, that we would never allow another attack uh, of that magnitude on American soil. Uh, however, Mr. Chairman, I I'm becoming increasingly concerned that we are on the cusp of another major attack and if we do not properly prepare, we could fail to prevent another 9-11. In fact, uh, the director of the FBI, Christopher Wray, testified in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee back in December and warned Congress of another 9-11-like failure. During that hearing, he said, I quote, I see blinking lights everywhere. And ask any New Yorker, we know what that means and we'll tell you plain and simple that we're in trouble. Um, and now in addition to being a proud New Yorker, I'm a Navy veteran, uh, the brother of a Marine. And I served this country in uniform with immense pride for 11 years. And I can tell you from that experience, the most effective way to thwart an adversary and protect an asset, and especially our people, is through deterrence. Uh, the action of discouraging an action uh, or an event by instilling doubt or fear into the consequences. Um, Assistant Secretary Callahan, thanks so much for being here. Uh, as the Assistant Secretary for the Countering Weapons of Mass Destruction Office, my first question is for you. It was only five years ago that the Countering Weapons of Mass Destruction Office within the Department of Homeland Security was established. Um, do you believe that the office has served as a deterrent for our adversaries in attempting to use a weapon of mass destruction on U.S. soil since the office was created? Representative, I do believe it has served as a deterrent, and the way it has done so is by pushing out training equipment and uh, exercises to the, the state and local first responders. They're going to be the ones who are going to come across a chemical, biological, radiological, or nuclear threat, and getting training and technology in their hands is how that we can um, uh, not only identify, but prepare and respond. Our mission is to prevent and, detect and deter uh, uh, CBRN threats, and I think we're doing so with regard to our relationship with state and locals, also in Nassau County, as well as in Suffolk County, sir, and also with, uh, with working with our operational components uh, here in the Department of Homeland Security, and then working in the interagency with FBI and DOE. Yes, sir. Great. Um, I know that Dr. Sherman uh, resisted the temptation to answer the question about the blank checks, uh, and then you referenced- <laughs> I'll, I'll write it. <laughs> You're going to get a shot at the same question then. Uh, how can you build on that success? And your answer just now, you said technology was a key part of what we ought to be focused on moving forward. Give Congress a sense of what else you think uh, we ought to be leveraging in technology and otherwise to be able to build on the success of the last five years. Um, sir, it's, it's technology, training, and equipment, and exercises. Getting the knowledge out for chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear threats, understanding how to respond, do the training and exercises that I witnessed in New Orleans just this week, because it's the first responders, it's those state and locals are gonna be on the ground uh, if indeed something happens. Uh, and we are working to get that knowledge out as far as we can. With regard to the, the check that I will write, uh, the enduring reauthorization of the, C, the CWMD office is crucial to make sure that we can be that linchpin for the entire um, CWMD ecosystem. Thank you. Appreciate your feedback. You know, this committee under Chairman Diaz-Bazizu's leadership has a strong bipartisan approach to how we're we very to, grateful. And, and we're going to continue that. We're committed to doing that. Thank I'm, you. I'm uh, going to maybe go to a next round uh, in the future, Mr. Chairman, so I yield. 